Hey guys, welcome to another driving test video. So this was a test at Hit The Green Driving Test Center on Thursday, the 1st of February, 2024. And the time for this test was at 10, 15 a.m. in the morning. So unfortunately, this was a fail again at Clifton's roundabout. And even up to this point, um, it is quite sad that People still fail for lane straddling at Clifton's. And this is a simple thing that could be avoided if you just remember the rule of the roundabout. Remember that this is a circle. So maintain your lane and steer along the circle. Don't straight line through a roundabout. Remember that. So we will see what happened later on. But um, initially, you might be wondering, this is not my car. And yes. That is because I only had a lesson with the learner to assess her driving and then one further lesson afterwards. And she mentioned that she actually felt more confident or comfortable in her car because she was um, familiar with the car. So, and here we have it. So this is also something I do advise sometimes. Yeah, if you feel comfortable, you've got access to a car that you use more of the time than actually your instructor's car then why not? You can suggest that to your instructor and if they're happy with that, then they might be willing to take you in your car since you're already familiar with it. So back to the test. Now, as sad as it might be, there was only two minor faults on this test and those minor faults were both for just lane positioning normal driving and the serious fault was for use of mirrors lane change now i know you might be wondering i thought this should be lane discipline because it was straddling lane at the roundabout but i would explain this further later on when we get to the roundabout And here they are coming to pull up on the left, so which is one exercise you would see very often on tests. Um, this is commonly done because when you're pulling off, or sorry, when you're moving off, examiners are checking if you are assessing the area or the surroundings properly. Are you checking your blind spot most importantly? Remember that on this route, you've got lots of driveways around you. So your blind spot check is very important. Look over your two shoulders because if any vehicles were coming out from the driveways, you might not see them from your mirrors. These are the places or the situations where your blind spot check comes in very, very handy and important. So don't miss them. Or same thing if a cyclist was just already along your shoulder where your B pillar is, if you're looking on the mirrors, you might not see them there. Again, it could also happen where someone is far away out of your side on the main road as well. The further they are away from you, the less likely you'll pick them up in the mirror as well. So keep this in mind. Check your blind spot every time. Make it a habit.
And if you're wondering why the video is so short and just 15 minutes, this is because I forgot the main camera at home. Actually not, but I forgot the batteries. And luckily I had a backup in the bag, but unfortunately the battery was only charged halfway. But luckily though, the serious fault happened just before the battery went off. <laughs> So here right here as you can see is the pulling up on the right exercise which after you're going to be reversing to car length. Now remember that when you're doing this don't reverse too fast. I always say within 0 and 1 miles an hour so that way you have the chance to look around you while you do this. Now remember also that when you're finishing you want to finish reasonably close to the pavement so that your car is not tucked into the road and blocking other road users from passing safely and this is more so important on a narrow and tight road so keep this in mind now remember also that when you're moving off don't forget to look over your blind spot and as you move off don't wander too long in the right lane make it quick make it brave move into your lane and continue And ahead of us is a bus lane. So keep in mind that when you've got bus lanes ahead, look out for those signs on time so that you can check the hour of operation for that bus lane. And if it's not in use at the time of your test, then keep to the left and use the bus lane so that others around you who wants to overtake can use the right lane. But on the other hand, though, remember that if you find yourself in the right lane because you fail to check that bus lane, the last thing you want to do is jump into the bus lane when you actually do not know the time or when you have not checked your mirrors. And of course, signal if it is necessary in your situation. So in this case, we are turning left at a traffic light and the learner has used the bus lane, which is great because the bus lane is not in use during this test. And if you're turning left, this is more so important even for you to be using that bus lane because if you're in the right lane you might just end up struggling to come back to the left later on to do your left turn at the traffic light especially during busy times when other drivers who are aware of the bus lane and the time are already in the bus lane and then you have to then start begging way in order to come in safely but last of all if you're not able to come into the bus lane safely please do remember you would rather just continue straight follow the marking on the floor in the lane that you are on missing a turn is not a reason for a fail keep this in mind
And ahead of us is Clifton's roundabout where the learner got the serious fault. So I did mention that I would explain later on why this was for use of mirrors changing lane rather than for lane discipline at the roundabout. Now, bear in mind that what I'm going to say here is just my own guess opinion because I wouldn't see what happened in the car. So first, now I would assume that the learner would have checked her mirrors before moving off at that junction. So she was aware that there was no vehicles beside her in the middle lane. So moving into the middle, though might not have been the good thing to do, but at least she was aware that it was safe. Now, when she moves into the middle right here now, again, as she come into the left lane, she did not check the mirror on her left, as the examiner mentioned in this situation. So now she had committed two offenses, but one of them was more dangerous than the other. And that was moving back into the left lane without checking the left mirror now does this mean that if she had not moved into the left lane and just exited in the right lane i'm sorry in the middle lane would she have passed and the answer would have been yes because technically she was given a fault for not using her mirrors when she changed the lane so which is to say if she didn't change the lane she would have been fine so and as we get to yorkshire gray roundabout here you would see the same pattern again so Lena just straight lines into the roundabout and then changes lane as she enter doing this. So here we are from the left lane straight again into the right lane here because this is two lanes. Or should I say more or less the middle of the road? And then we come back again to the left. So it is a pattern that's been shown here. But luckily, I guess the examiner thought, oh, well, you know, already filled out the first one. There was no point giving another second serious fault for the same thing just within about 30 seconds. But yes, that was another serious fault there, technically. So yeah, please avoid this on your test. Discipline yourself at the roundabout. Follow the circle. Don't do lane straddling at the roundabout. Or even on your normal driving, don't straddle lanes, especially if you're not good with using your mirrors. You might just get yourself into a problem. I'm not talking test-wise right now. I am saying on a normal daily drive, it is not safe because there are people around you. So keep it in mind. Now, that was really it. This is why she failed. So from this point, they go ahead to go on to the A2. So if you're not sure, you don't know where the A2 is, this is where they're going now. This is the only place where you can really show a good driving or show that you are a driver because this is the only few places we can do 30 40 and 50. so we've come through from clifton which has been 40 but briefly we came into 30 into yorkshire gray and then all through to this point is 30 and then as we join the a2 we're coming into 50. every other thing after this point on heather green are mostly 20 hence why examiners are more likely to bring you here if you're having your test during less busy time so let's watch the rest of the video before the battery shuts down now don't forget if you have enjoyed this video and you find it useful remember i would really appreciate your like subscribe to the channel and leave a comment below if you've got any questions whatsoever and in case you don't know i am now giving mock tests at Bromley Driving Test Center every Friday. Should you be interested in this, contact me for price and availability. And if you have found the videos very helpful and wish to support the channel further, then you can use the super thanks icon at the bottom of the video to make a little contribution to the channel. Remember that nothing is too small. Even a pound would go a long way. So thank you as you support the channel. So yep. Yeah, this is coming to the end of the video. See you in the next video. Stay blessed, stay tuned, and all the best on your test.